guys it's early it's very early we're up and we're heading out of here we gotta go catch our plane get home get back to the little buddy lou get back to work just out here saying goodbye to the ocean yeah and grabbing our beach blanket yeah we almost forgot this almost forgot it <laughs> good thing we came out here to say goodbye <laughs> bye ocean get up we have a special bond i have to say goodbye he still has sand in it We're out of here. This hotel has been amazing. It's called Pasea Hotel and Spa right on Huntington Beach. And it was seriously amazing. The amenities have been awesome. A lot of them have been free. We've really loved it. The staff has been awesome. A lot of food has been for free. Not because it's just free food. They just are like, oh, that's on us. Yeah, we got free dessert last night. We had free room service one night because they didn't have french fries that we ordered. So they gave us everything else for free, which was pretty insane. We got free pizookies both times at BJ's. Free beach cruisers here, really been an awesome hotel. We've Free flip-flops. Free flip-flops that we're not taking. No, they don't fit. But they're free if they fit you. Sad to leave, guys, sad to leave. out here waiting for our lift to pick us up get us over to the airport we've kind of gotten a little more lax about how early we get to the airport because of the tsa pre-check stuff we know we could just walk through security and also with only carry-ons we don't ever have to worry about checking a bag and i'm notorious for getting to the airport way earlier than necessary i did miss a flight one thanksgiving i got to the airport and i had a huge checked bag and i was too late to check it in and so they were just like oh, well we can't check it we can't check it and i was like holy crap what do i do i hopped back on the shuttle went back to my car and I just started driving to California because <laughs> you know I'm not gonna miss Thanksgiving plus it was my cousin's wedding but ever since then I've been paranoid about getting to the airport late and checking a bag so you check a bag you have to be there even earlier for them to get it on the plane so now we hardly ever check a bag but I'm starting to come out of that we're starting to get to the airport at a more reasonable time so we aren't waiting forever <laughs> at the terminal to get on our plane. Chell loves that. I don't. I want to get to the airport at the last second. If Shell had it her way, we'd show up at the airport. Everyone else would already be boarded. We would walk on, take our seats, and we would go. And that would be awesome. <laughs> if we weren't TSA pre-check right now, I think we'd for sure miss our flight. We just pulled into the garage. We're home. We are gonna try and sneak attack the little buddy Louie. We don't know where he's gonna be, don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Uh-oh, <laughs> I think our sneak attack's over. <laughs> So good. 
Did they give you a baffy? Guys, we're home. We got our little pal back. I have to run. I have to go straight to work from here. Shell doesn't. She's gonna stay home and be able to edit a bit and spend some time with the little bud, Lou. I'll see you guys later tonight. Oh, we're gonna miss you, Daddy. Except I have to edit a ton and run a bunch of errands, so that's not that much fun. Yeah, I'm glad I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are officially home, and Louie and I here have a very boring day planned. I'm sorry, buddy. Who are you looking for? Daddy had to go to work. We got home, dad had to go off to work. I headed to the gym because, you know, we just can't miss a day on our program, especially because we did so bad in California. Only with eating, we were pretty good with our workouts. We were actually really good with our workouts, which I was grateful for. Then I hit the grocery store and got some things that we needed so that we can get back on track with our macros. And I decided grocery shopping, I just don't love it. I'm sorry, but it's something that needed to be done. So I went grocery shopping, came home, done so much laundry there's only two of us I don't know why we have so much laundry all the time but for some reason we have a ton of laundry you can see it's piling up over there I have got a lot of editing to catch up on I'm very behind on that so today Lou and I we're gonna be super boring super boring sorry buddy What's up guys? I solved it. Solved it, I solved it, I solved it. Finally, I solved this problem. My dirt bike here, good old Yamaha, has not been running for a little while and I thought it was a dead battery, but then I changed the battery and it did start running, but it was leaking oil. The pipe was turning red hot right here and I was kind of baffled. I didn't know what was wrong with it. Before we went to Huntington Beach, I was taking a better look at it to try and figure out what was wrong with it because I want to ride it. I want to ride it so bad. And I was looking around the engine because I was trying to figure out where this oil was coming from and I noticed there's a big gaping hole right in my cylinder. Look in this little mirror right here. Right in that mirror, you'll see there's a big hole and that goes right into the cylinder. And so when that cylinder is moving, it's actually squirting oil right out of that hole, right onto the radiator, dripping right onto the header pipe and then burning off, making the pipe glow red, causing me all of my problems. So come to find out that hole is supposed to just be plugged up. So I had to order a new plug. The plug for some reason, who knows where it is? I don't know where it is, but it's gone. <laughs> I don't know how long it's been gone, but it's gone. And so I got a new plug. It just came, well, it was close. It just came today and I'm gonna install it right now. Gonna plug it once again, start it up, and let's see if the pipe keeps glowing red. I think this is the last key to the puzzle, and I'm so stoked about it because that means we'll have one and two running dirt bikes, which means I'm getting it shell out on the trails, hopefully soon. I really have been wanting to do this for a very, very long time, and I think she will be stoked out of her mind and love it so much. And the other reason I really want this sucker running is because I want to get it out at the sand dunes. I do not know when Shell has another shoot out there. I'm hoping soon. I don't think she even has one on the calendar yet, but while she's shooting, I'm gonna go run around and have fun on it. What's cool is I throw this tire on there. And with that tire on the back, this thing just hauls through the sand. It is so much fun. Anyways, guys, I'm done talking. Let's see if we can get this sucker running before Shell gets home. She's out at a shoot right now, getting right back to work right after vacation. Good for her, I'm really proud of her. Shell just texted me and she said we're going to the dunes on Monday. So I am so super stoked. And I think it's with our good friends, Ashley and Jordan. So kind of feel bad ditching the shoot to ride around on the dunes, but not that bad. I cannot wait to get this thing out there. Now I have even more incentive to get this fixed right now. <laughs> That ran perfectly. The pipe didn't turn red, no oil was leaking. It ran so well. So I'm stoked that the shell is scheduled to shoot for Monday at Sand Dunes. I just gotta get that paddle tire on there and then I am taking it with us, guys. I am so excited.
guys, we're home. We're getting back on track. We Shell made it. us this delicious dinner. We made it together. I did the chicken and Shell did the sweet potatoes and the veggies. Yeah, that's true. Cause I don't like dealing with raw chicken that much. Don't mind me just measuring out my barbecue sauce. That's a lot of freaking sauce. Wow. Or if you're just <laughs> like wanting to have healthy barbecue sauce, this stuff, get it. G Hughes zero sugar is what it needs. Here you go, babe. You want to measure yours? Yeah. Daniel hasn't been measuring anything. I just copied Michelle. <laughs> He's supposed to be eating way more than me. I know, but it's so much food sometimes, guys. It's hard to eat it all. We're glad to be home. We're glad to be back with the little buddy Lou. I'm glad Shell scheduled a shoot at the Sand Dunes. So thankful for that. And it's soon. It's Monday. <laughs> it is soon. We are going to eat dinner and then catch up on some editing and laundry because I didn't get all the laundry done today that I was hoping to get done. I apologize. It's never ending. I know. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and we will see you next time see ya bye apologize for the messy looking home we're just you know we're home and we're making ourselves at home <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh well he's getting excited about something <laughs>